This day is not starting off a good start because we need to call poison control. Harbor, did you want to say welcome back to our channel? Say it. Good job. Harbor always pretends that he's vlogging constantly throughout the day and he's recently started saying welcome back to our channel. And then he also says subscribe and he goes like this when he says subscribe. Do you want to do it? Good job. I don't know if we're being dramatic with this whole poison control thing. Do you think we are? No. Alright, I guess I'm gonna call and then I'll tell you what happened. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Welcome to the Utah Poison Control Center. If you are calling about a possible poisoning or overdose, press 1. If you are calling to I... <laughs> all calls this are free so and confidential. But geez, why is poison control busy today? It must be that kind of day. Must have been a lot of people last <laughs> night. <laughs> Got a little hungry. If someone is having difficulty breathing, okay. please hang up and dial 911 <laughs> now. When That's a robot talking. It's not a real person. Press, please continue to hold. It's a robot lady on the phone. She's just telling us to keep waiting. Utah Poison Control, this is Julie. Hi, Julie. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Oh, okay. Hi. Um. So I. I just had a question. This is just such a random thing. <laughs> um, but I just thought I'd call. Every time I turn this camera on, I'm so worried that it's not recording, but I'm pretty sure it's recording because it says R-E-C. I think it made Abby sick with all the stress in this morning. So she's not feeling well now. So I'm gonna enter some footage that she took yesterday right here. A quick break just to show you guys our Robo Rock, which we've literally been loving. We have a mess going on, as you can see, and I'm going to take care of that. The main reason that I've been kind of skeptical about robot vacuums is like, I don't wanna have to like upkeep a lot. Pretty much all your concerns with a robot vacuum vacuum washes away with this thing. The Roborock S7 Max Ultra is maintenance free and all in one. It self dries, self washes, self empties, self refills, and self cleans. So we have crumbs here and then we have some stuff dried on the tile. I'm going to show you how it works. We're going to be using the turbo setting to like vacuum all of this up. For the tile specifically, I'm going to use the intense deep scrub just to make sure that everything is off the floor and it doesn't leave like a residue. This is where it will automatically dump like the dirt and everything that it picks up into this dustbin here. It just really makes sure that it gets all that dust out and it just leaves it looking perfect. When it's done, it'll just come right back to its little home here, sit on its little dock, and it will self-clean itself. This is the clean water for mopping, and then this is what it sucks up. So this is the dirty water that you can dump out after. And once it's even done cleaning, it'll like warm dry like the mop pads. We can be really busy with a toddler running around, so sometimes it feels like having to clean the floors gets bumped to the bottom of our priority list. When it comes to cleaning your house, you don't need to compromise in the areas that matter to you. It also has a liftable mopping pad, so when it goes from like tile to like your carpet, it automatically detects that and lifts it up. There's also a deep carpet cleaning setting, so it'll go through and it'll vacuum it horizontally and vertically. They have an app so you can control everything like the mapping of your home or starting, stopping, washing the mop. You can clean any different separate areas, different rooms. It has an AI no go zone feature. It has this like little camera that can tell it where it can go and where it can't go. If you guys want to go in our description, you can learn more about the product. There are so many products on the market lately that cut corners, but you won't find that with this one. If you're the type of person that doesn't want to compromise, you literally need this. But anyway, you waited long enough. Let me tell you why I was calling poison control <laughs> I'm so embarrassed I oh man this is like the weirdest thing that I've done in a long time and I don't know why I did it I was having a dream I was eating candy like you know those little um they're like banana candies kind of like runts but it's just like a little banana I was having a dream I was eating those and they but they were just like not good and I just kept trying to like suck on it and chew it because I thought the more I did that, the better it would taste, but it just did not taste good. And it was a long dream. This happened for a long time. And then eventually I like kind of got semi-conscious and I was like, well, I'm laying down trying to sleep. So maybe I shouldn't be eating candy right now. And so I took it out of my mouth and then I realized that I had been sucking on an AirPod. Wow, oh, it's so weird. And the weird thing is like, I don't know how I got it. Like I had AirPods by the side of my bed because sometimes like if I'm trying to fall asleep, I'll like listen to an audiobook or something. So I had AirPods there, but I must have somehow in my dream, I just like reached over onto the bedside table and I got it out and I put it in my mouth and I started chewing on it. And I didn't really think much of it in the morning. I thought it was just kind of more like embarrassing and funny. So I told Abby and she told me that she got the ick. 
so I'm a little offended about that. I was gonna say, I don't know if the ick counts if you do it on accident, but I think the ick mostly happens when someone does something on accident. And then the gross thing is too, there's little like freaking bite marks all over his AirPod. <laughs> Uh, it's not that bad though. I'm surprised it's not worse. It still works, like it will connect to my phone, but the battery won't charge. I was texting me saying that she's in the bedroom, she could hear me filming and she's laughing up. <laughs> Abby just texted me saying, we need to lock up the robot rock because you're gonna think it's a donut and eat the vacuum. <laughs> Anyway, I broke it. I half broke it. It won't charge. It works, but it won't charge, but it's gonna be fully broken once the battery dies. Anyway, and so then Abby, like, was thinking about it, because I said something like how I can't get the taste out of my mouth. I was like, well, what, what if it's like you swallowed battery acid? So then she starts Googling it. You can crack the battery and get battery acid out. <laughs> then we're like, well, great. What if I'm like gonna, because I, I think that one thing that I read was that you sometimes don't like have the full symptoms until later and you need to, if you did have like, swallow battery acid, you have to like catch it soon. So I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna call poison control. Anyway, the lady said that she, it's fine. If I did swallow battery acid, it would have left like marks in my mouth. I would have had like a reaction in my mouth, which I don't. So, all good. Sure you're all happy to know. I know you were on the edge of your seats with that one. But yeah, on a different topic, I wanted to I wanted to apologize to you guys because I feel like our videos that we've been putting out lately have not been great. <laughs> um, and I, I'm sure you've noticed. I feel like it ha we haven't been putting, they're just not very fun. It, it's just very just like monotonous, daily mono monotonous daily life. The reality is that's kind of what's going on in our life right now and I we don't share everything with you guys. We have a lot of fun videos that are planned that will be coming up soon so stay tuned. Thank you for everyone who's watching this because if you're watching this then I know you're one of the few that actually has like hung on and thought they're boring right now but maybe not forever and we won't be boring forever I promise. Well I can't promise that maybe I will be boring forever I don't know. We've been trying to have like a lot of family time lately too. You want to say cheese? Okay. You can move the stuff right over. Harvard's probably been the one that's the most disappointed about our videos not being very exciting lately. He's trying to film all the time. We had to just give him our old camera pretty much because he wants to film so much. What do you have to say? Hmm. Yeah, subscribe. That's a cool shirt. Who's on that shirt? A Coco shirt. It's your Coco shirt, Coco Melon. Do you know what it says, the words? A Coco Melon, Mommy, it's a shirt. We did what? We did dance in the sink. Danced in the sink? Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. Oh, dirty sink? How we did that. No, dance in the sink. That's what you're saying? Mm -hmm. You want to dance in the sink? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. No, I'm mama, I'm mama. I'm mama. I'm oh, mama's not here? Oh, yeah, you're right. All right, when mama's feeling better, we'll come and dance in the sink, okay? Mm -hmm. Deal? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to shake on it? Mm -hmm. You see the red car? Do you know what that is? You know what it is? <laughs> smoothie. Smoothie? That's pretty good. Smoothie. Smoothie. That's good. Good job. That was better. <laughs> right, should we go get the smoothie and give it to mama? All right, go ahead and shut the door. Why are you putting your hand in the way? Move your hand out of the way so you can shut the door. Bye. Bye. You got it, keep going, keep going. Almost there, push, push. The thing about toddlers, they just take forever to do everything. And you just gotta be patient. You can't make them go faster. It's a learning experience for them. Everything they do is a learning experience. But it takes forever and it tests your patience. Right, sweetie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mama hates to hatch. Mama's head hurts, that's mm -hmm. true. So we're gonna give her a smoothie. And mama up. You want mama to put her hair up? Mm -hmm. You like it when mama puts her hair in a ponytail, don't you? All right, you want to give this to your mama? No. Well, what are you going to do? You're just going to keep filming? Mm -hmm. By yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay. Harper calls the sink mommy's sink. Okay. And there's something about that that's offensive, and I can't exactly put my finger on it. <laughs> uh -huh. But it's your sink, too. You can do the dishes sometimes if you want. Uh -huh. Thank you. Do you want me to put that thing in the freezer again? Sure. If anyone gets migraines, mm -hmm. what's this thing called? I got Cold it off Amazon. Cat, I yeah. Think.
Therma Ice RX. He's like, yeah, it's just like you put it in the freezer and it feels so And then good. you put it over your head. It's supposed to help with migraines. Yeah, it helps a lot. It really helps. But it doesn't stay cold for very long. Maybe it's because you got a hot head. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? No. Okay. Can Bye. Can you get me a snack? Air plugs? <laughs> They're not very good. Can you get me a rice cake with laughing cow? Yeah. You know, I think the reason that, because I, I don't know if I said this to the camera, but I kind of, like, my stomach felt like, like I had to burp a lot, and that was a part of the reason that we're like, we got to call poison control because we were worried about that. But I think it's because I was swallowing so much spit. <laughs> because I was sucking on it for like an hour, I think. It's right, a long you're dream. You're done. You're done. Anyway. All right. I think that's pretty much it for today's video. Ho ho. What are you saying? Do you want to keep filming? Oh, we'll keep filming. We'll just saying bye. Pretend. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.